the first field goal for Valparaiso. So Stoller now with the first two points from Valparaiso. An immediate answer by North Dakota as a triple that time is knocked down by Melissa Daly. Figure out what exactly they want to execute. I think that was one of the concerns. We get Stoller again from the pass from Schofield. But one of her concerns was it took them too long. Position finishes with the layup that, however, is missed. And great work by Ella Ellenson down low, however, taken back by North Dakota. And I'll tell you what, that was a transition basket that North Dakota should have finished on. Now with five, she'll look to create. She calls for a clear out, drives the lane. How about that? Contact drawn, but no foul as there's a run out here by North Dakota. Chance to finish, and they are able to do so. Good transition break that time led by Claire Orth. Rezo's offense once again looking to get started. It's a drive that time by Ellenson and a strong finish as Ella is able to knock it down. Position, but not able to come down with it. Steal, however, by Stoller as Valpo runs this one out. Good give and go give and for go, Meredith. Yeah. Back to basics, right? It works. Yeah. North Dakota swings it around for a triple and it gets knocked down by Melissa Daly. Big time shot from the outside. Her second three of the afternoon as she now leads. 30 seconds left to play here in the first half. About a 13 second difference between shot and game clock. Valparaiso can buckle down and get the last possession, barring any fouls. Up and under goes in beautifully that time by Elena Jarnot. Good dribble drive that time from Strand as she was able to lead as well. Frank able to knock down both free throws as she's tied this game up. So now we're tied at 30. First time Valparaiso has not had the lead in about a quarter and a half. And this pressure by the Fighting Hawks is getting to the Crusaders. Stoller looking to get her over the time stripe but they're not able to do so. Three point attempt off the mark for the Crusaders as North Dakota runs it out in transition. Good spin move and finish by Claybo. She notches her eighth and ninth point of the afternoon. And just like that, the Fighting Hawks have taken the lead over Valparaiso. And being in a state where you don't have any professional sports, you get a good college team, that state's going to find you. Girls like Claybo are the reasons why. She's now in double digits at 12. Out. The blood back in. It gives some size. Look at that. They immediately that find her to your nice. point. Good positioning by Bryce Blood as Valparaiso for North Dakota as they've got a chance to reset it. Milking the clock all the way down. Dribble drive, penetration, up and under goes in. Real nice move by Ranky to finish at the hoop. That was a great move. And Valpo did a great job for three quarters of the 40% on the afternoon. Valparaiso after that abysmal third has fallen to below 32%. Triple that time, and it's a big shot off the hands of Strand as she knocks down a three. Five minutes left to go in this matchup. North Dakota leading Valpo 49 to 42. Three point attempt. Big time shot that time coming from Strand. Because yeah, they really, with the, the lack of the, the lack of the bench, it would be tough to press them. Strand with a great cut, and that is an outstanding feed from Claybo. One of the best great moves patience. we've seen all afternoon. Right. In a flurry to get back in this one as they trail by 11, 57-46, North Dakota leading. Good time drive that win by Hamlet as she's able to cut back into this Fighting Hawks lead. And Valparaiso now putting pressure on. North Dakota doing a very good job of milking this clock. Valparaiso looks like they're going about one more possession before they start fouling. And just like that, it's another 23 seconds gone and two points in as Jarnot is able to convert. Valparaiso back with the ball here. Hamlet takes it to the hoop. See if she can go up and under again. She does with an and one opportunity this time. So how about two quick baskets that did not go through and Valparaiso's going to come on the short end of this one. Final seconds tick away. Free throw, excuse me. Final field goal doesn't go for blood and that's how the game's going to come to an end. North Dakota. 